Is it still worth it? What to do when the client wants to pull the plug? Years ago, I managed a project to design and manufacture about 20,000 pieces of equipment for a household name client of the engineering manufacturer I was working for. Rather than charging the client for the development costs, they were factored into the selling price of the manufactured units, so it was crucial for my company that we would sell all the units at the end of the project. Partway through the project, the client hit financial difficulties. Budgets were revisited and question marks appeared over my project, which was a nice to have for them. The problem was that we needed them more than they needed us. Design and manufacture projects deliver the benefits right at the end. There's nothing to be gained from owning component tooling and assembly jigs. You have to make and sell the finished product in order to realize the benefits. So the project was a must have for us. My challenge was to demonstrate to the client why they should continue with the project and make their cuts elsewhere. So, I laid the finances on the line, preparing a statement of the cost to complete the project and the benefits to be gained by doing so, versus the cost to exit the project early, which was mainly cost to make the tooling for component manufacturer that had already been contractually committed to, with of course, no benefits. I put this cost information on my weekly project status reports, and then it was up to the client to decide what to do. After all, it was their money that they were spending. Initially, the cost to exit was considerably less than the cost to complete, but exit would have been very embarrassing for the client as it would have meant spend without benefits. I explained to my client that as the project progressed, the completion cost would decrease in relation to the exit cost and benefit realisation would draw closer. The project remained in funding limbo for a couple of months, but it soon became apparent to the client that it was better to complete and to realise the benefits than it was to exit, and the project continued right through to manufacture. Have you been in a similar situation to this? What approach did you use? How did it go? Let me know in the comments and follow or connect for more Pragmatic PMO videos.